There are multiple ways to calibrate a pump when using a nylon cyclone. We will demonstrate one option that does not require a jar using a piston calibrator. You will need the following materials. A two-piece filter cassette. The laboratory can help you choose the appropriate filter type for your analysis. When handling the cassette, never obscure the barcode, especially for a pre-weighed filter. Nylon Cyclone, Door Oliver style with flexible tubing. Constant flow personal sampling pump, capable of the flow rate specified by the Cyclone manufacturer. For this demonstration, we are using a rate of 1.7 liters per minute, piston calibrator, and flow adjusting screwdriver. Calibrate in an area away from possible sample contaminants and label your cassette for calibration. Remove the plugs from both the cassette outlet and inlet and set them aside. Loosen the locking nut on the back of the cyclone holder and slide the upper bracket up and over. The side of the cassette labeled inlet should be pointed downward and inserted into the coupler. Now slide the upper bracket down onto the outlet side of the cassette. To finish, press the upper bracket onto the cassette and tighten using the locking nut. Now let's go through the calibration procedure. Allow the pump to run for about five minutes before you start. Disconnect the flexible tubing from the cyclone and connect it to the calibrator's outlet port. Using another short piece of flexible tubing, connect the cyclone to the inlet port of the calibrator. Follow the instructions in your instrument manual to set the pump to the specified flow rate. Take the average of at least 20 flow measurements to account for flow variations due to direct connection of the pump to the calibrator. Turn off the pump. Now, remove the shorter piece of tubing. Disconnect the end of the long piece of sample tubing from the calibrator outlet and connect it back to the cyclone. Put aside the calibration filter for later use. Replace the calibration cassette with a new one and now collect the sample. Remember, during sampling, that the cyclone cannot be inverted. It is important that the particles from the grit pot never deposit on the filter, since these particles are too large to be respirable. Immediately after sampling, loosen the locking nut and remove the filter cassette from the cyclone and replace the two plugs. Discard the contents of the grit pot and store the samples until ready to ship. To finish, perform a post-calibration using the calibration cassette and repeating the pre-calibration procedure. The post-calibration flow rate should be within 5% of the pre-calibration. If it's not, assess whether the variance can still meet your data objectives or if you should resample. Finally, complete the laboratory request form, also called the chain of custody, noting that the samples were collected as respirable and the analysis needed. Return the filters to the laboratory for analysis. Here are some key points to remember. Order two-piece cassettes from the laboratory. Calibrate to the cyclone's specified flow rate. During sampling, ensure the cyclone is not inverted. And insert the plugs immediately after sampling.